So, of course, people have been out here all day handing out missing flyers, scouring the neighborhood. But just a few minutes ago, police were able to serve the search warrant on the house, uh, getting a first look inside to see if there are any clues inside the home as to where Elizabeth Shelley could have gone. In the meantime, they're now questioning her uncle. Corner. A crowd of law enforcement going house to house, dozens searching everywhere in the grass, a canal, hoping to find five year old Elizabeth Shelley. There's not much to go on, and so we don't even know where to start, where to go. Family is just as puzzled as police. Police say Lizzie, as her family calls her, was seen sleeping at 2 a.m. when mom went to bed. When mom woke up Saturday morning, Lizzie was gone. She's been hysterical all morning, all day. She's still bawling. It's her worst nightmare. It's the worst thing. She just makes wants, wants it to go away. She wants her baby back. Right now, the only thing police really know that Lizzie's uncle, 21 year old Alex Whipple, showed up at the house Friday night. He disappeared along with Lizzie in the morning, but police found him hours later without his niece. Some distance from town on foot. Um, he was by himself. He failed to identify to the deputy who located him. My understanding was he wasn't being very cooperative. They say they're now focused on trying to talk to Alex. The house is roped off, the search spanning the blocks around the home. We have a real reason to be concerned for her safety. As each hour passes, at this point, they just hope to find this little girl alive. It's scary. It's, it's the worst thing ever, ever. And the longer the day goes on, you just don't. You start thinking the worst and you don't want to, but it's sad. Uh, police say that Whipple does have a criminal history as well as a history with uh, drugs, which is part of why they say they are so concerned about Lizzie and where she could be tonight. Now, uh, these missing posters have been handed around. They're really hoping that anyone in the area has seen this little girl. If anyone has seen someone like the pictures we showed you or if anyone saw Whipple walking alone, a man walking alone in Logan today, please call police. Now, if they don't find anything in the house behind me here, if they do not find her tonight, they will pick that search back up at 8 a.m. All right, go ahead and say ID. Inside the Hiron shortstop, it looks like business as usual. 842. But outside, something unusual. Search crews digging through the garbage, gathering around the dumpster out back, combing the street. The little girl goes missing and, you know, something like this and nobody can find it. No one can find five-year-old Lizzie Shelley. Not here in Hiram, not in Logan, where she disappeared from her home Saturday morning. Police say they think her uncle Alex Whipple knows what happened, but he won't say. All I can say at this time is we have evidence to believe that he is the reason that she is missing. So they're trying to fill in the blanks. The Hiram shortstop gave them some help. <sighs> Ryan says he saw Whipple Saturday. Disheveled. Like he had been like he had been on a, a, a binge of some kind. That was hours after Lizzie disappeared. He had, was walking this way from the townhouses over there to come in here to buy something. Ryan Lilinquist says Whipple was by himself wearing an odd outfit. He was wearing a gray hoodie and underneath that hoodie was a kind of a suit and tie. That's something really weird. That was at 1.30 p.m. Ryan says even captured on their surveillance. Less than two hours later, authorities caught up to Whipple near some corrals on a dirt country road a few miles away. We'd really like to find her, and we're, and we're trying everything that we know of. 200 searchers, a 10 mile span, two days, and still nothing. Something that's bothering Ryan and this entire valley. I, I feel terrible for the family. This is something that doesn't deserve to happen. Things like this shouldn't go this way and I fear the worst. As search crews go over and over the same areas, making sure they've checked every last yard. It's a really sad situation here in Logan. Everyone in the Cache Valley watches with the same hope. I'm, I'm hoping they find her. The same fear. I already feel it, she's not alive. And their own thoughts about the disappearance of five-year-old Lizzie Shelley and the man police think took her. But he has no vehicle. He does not drive, has no transportation. There's right no here. way you're going to walk that far carrying a child. No, none of it adds up. It doesn't add up. A sentiment shared by police after questioning 21 year old Alex Whipple, who they say isn't cooperating from jail, leading to the three day, miles long search from Logan to Hiram. 
The evidence they found so far links Alex to Lizzie's disappearance Saturday morning. Police say they just can't find Lizzie. Law enforcement teams spent their Monday scouring fields and along railroad tracks, digging through garbage cans, looking through people's homes and yards. Just recently they came on this side, um, came in my house, and then they searched the backyard. As the searchers swarm every street, the same feeling. Sadness. The same reality. Yeah, I think it's really... Um, She's been gone for so long, the outcome isn't great, probably. And above all, yeah. a shared longing to bring Lizzie home. It's, it's heartbreaking, really, you know, knowing your, your child could be out there somewhere and you don't know where they are. Right, so there are a lot of people here this afternoon where we are standing out on 500 West. Uh, we can see lots of police vehicles coming in and out. They've got some streets closed off. And if you look behind me, you can see that there um, is kind of an incident command vehicle. There's also some tents set up. This is in the backyard of a street that is on Center Street. It's actually a backyard that is not too far from the charter school, the area where police say they had found a knife, they had found uh, Lizzie's skirt, as well as a cement block and a pipe, all that had DNA evidence that they confirmed to be Lizzie's blood. And we are learning that uh, it has been confirmed that uh, this is where the body of Lizzie Shelley was recovered. Now, uh, you can see from our drone shot that we have right now, looking down into the backyard area, these lots are fairly large. They've got a pretty big backyard area. This is an area that police search crews have combed three to four times in the past five days. People here telling me that police have gone through their homes, they've gone through their backyards, they've gone through everything they possibly can in this area because it was uh, such an area of concern and interest from the get-go. So really surprised to learn that this is the area that they found Lizzie. And of course, a lot of people in the valley, you know, listening to the story the past five days, just absolutely sick over what is happening. And now they are here to see it all come to an end. On one side of the police tape, a crime scene with tense investigators, the body of a five-year-old girl. On the other side, you just picture this poor little girl. People gather to see it for themselves and learn the news in person. It doesn't make you feel any better. Five-year-old Lizzie Shelley is dead, found not far from where she went missing five days ago. I just can't imagine. Honestly, I can't imagine. It makes me cry. The entire valley has been consumed by the search, by the strange details of her disappearance. It was her uncle. I mean, her mother's brother. I mean, how much closer could she have been to somebody and trusted him? Now, they're dealt with trying to understand her death. That is a heartbreak. Who would do such a thing like this to a little five-year-old girl? Just, you just gotta stop your thoughts because if you just go so far into it, you just can't, you can't think about it can't think of the horror or the pain the family is going through. So they gather and watch from the scene to Lizzie's home. They're all decorative, how sweet. Teddy bears and candles line the porch, paying respects, sending support to Lizzie's mom. I think everyone just needs to be strong for Jessica, you know. Strength and caring for an innocent little girl they never knew, but now love so much.